Well, day two at the convent and I had another really bizarre and intense dream. Wow, it's amazing when you dive deeper into spirituality, how many, how much, how more vivid your dreams get. <laughs> so I am, uh, I'm going to share my dream with you. Um, and some of you are going to judge me, but I mean, I don't control what I dream. So, um... If you want to hate on me for what I dream and what I'm sharing, then you should just take a seat and just be quiet. And you might, I don't know, find something better to do with your time, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyways, my dream last night was about Jeffrey Epstein. So what happened was I was at this park and Jeffrey walked by me and I recognized him. And our eyes locked. And I said, you know, just a courteous hello, you know. And then, because he did like a little wave thing. And then he did like a beeline like through the area of park that he was standing. And he came over to me. And he started talking to me. And, um... He started telling me how much in love with me he was and he got on the grass like a like a puppy literally like on his back like a puppy and it was the strangest thing I sat down beside him and I started rubbing his belly like as if you would like a dog or something I'm not sure why now this is my dream so please don't judge me I'm just explaining it and I said to him I said Jeffrey I said, you know, I know you're saying that you're in love with me and you want to buy me a house and take me away and everything else, um, but I can't trust you around my daughters. And that's the truth. Like, I have beautiful daughters and some of them are coming into their teenage years. One of them is. And I said, you know, I said, Jeffrey, I, I just can't trust you around my daughters. But... At the same time, I wanted to get down on his level and talk to him anyways about just everything. And I asked him, I said, Jeffrey, I said, how are you doing since they put uh, Gislaine, uh away? Um, so that's what I asked him. I asked him how he was doing since they put Gislaine away. Um, now, I don't know. Now, obviously, I'm talking about Gislaine Maxwell. Um, now, I mean, this dream could have been taking place in like the spirit realm, like it could have been an astral travel thing, um, because obviously like the media is telling everyone that this man is dead. Um, so maybe it was his spirit that I was conversing with. I'm not really sure why Jeffrey Epstein visited me in a dream and told me he was in love with me and wanted me to to buy me a house and stuff. Um, I mean, I'm glad that my dream self put boundaries in place with him and said, Jeffrey, I couldn't trust you around my teenage daughters. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Um, I asked him how he was doing since they arrested Gisele Maxwell. Um, other than the fact that that song comes to mind. I'm getting a download from Spirit. Sympathy for the Devil. Okay. It's an older song. Um, you can Google it on YouTube if you like. It's called Sympathy for the Devil. I think it's by the Rolling Stones. Um, I love the song. I, 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 I love the song. It's an, it's, it came out many, many years ago. Um... The first time that it was viewed before a live audience, John Lennon and, and, and his wife was there. John Lennon and uh, Yoko Ono, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to filter the downloads that I'm getting. 